All right, guys. Welcome to Blazing Bullets. Um, we got the um, Glock 43 tonight, or today, I should say. Uh, not exactly the first rounds that's ever been shot out of it. We did some failed chronograph testing before, but um, this is the latest offering as of uh, spring 2015 from Glock. As you can see, we've outfitted it uh, with some Talon grips. And um, uh, gun feels good to me so far. I think I, I have a feeling because my hands aren't very big and this grip is rather small that I'm going to be able to shoot this pretty well. Um, but let's try it. See if I'm not blowing smoke. Ten-yard range. Um, so far, first impressions of it are the grip is is kind of thin. I, I like the distance from here to here that the grip is, uh, being a single stack. Um, but I, I can already I can already tell just by those first couple shots that uh, getting used to the way um, how how small and thin it is compared to my other Glocks is just going to mess with me mentally until I, I play with it some. Um, hopefully you guys don't hear a ton of wind noise. Um, it's kind of sort of windy out here but Cold front coming in. Yeah Let's See if we can get a little bit better October 25 or 2015 and won't be long until the snow happens. No, not at all. Um, seems like we're getting a little bit closer. Um, a couple of rounds actually had one on top of one another. Um, it uh, it's it's a nice it's definitely a nice feel. I, I've carried it some, um, shot it just a couple of times in the yard. Like I said, it, uh, it it feels nice to carry. You know, I was really surprised when I got it. I didn't think that it was going to feel much different carrying than in my XDS9 or my Shield. Um, we're also trying different ammo going through it here. We haven't seen the issues with different types of ammo. Um, yeah. Um, PM. Uh, I, I shot. I shot some hollow points actually first uh, through the gun, and those were, I believe, I have them sitting in here. These were the uh, Fioki uh, XT. I think these are XTP rounds from Hornady that they load up into these, and they're they're pretty clean and it chewed these up no problem. Um, one thing that I did do, and I, I don't know how much it's going to throw off my accuracy, but I don't know if you guys can see down the front sight there. Um, I kind of chipped the front sight uh, by dropping it on a table. Um, of course, unloaded. Um, it, it doesn't... I don't, I don't know how much it would mess with me because it, it, didn't, it didn't exactly move it. Um, like like the rear sight here it's not you know drilled or, or milled into the slide so you can you know put the, the front sight on but it, it might just be crooked enough to mess with me um, I do plan on replacing it it's just that I don't know when All right, enough in there. give it another shot I'm 
Get it over on the on the, the kill zone. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it, it's not the it's not the best grouping, but as far as like uh you know self defense and stuff, we're all in the torso area. Yeah, it's a small barrel. Yeah, yeah real real tiny. Real, real like I said guys, when when you carry this gun What's the length of the barrel? Uh, I believe this is a three and a half. Three, no, it, it's definitely it's it's under three and a half. It's it's either three three point three like the I think believe the XDS is or yeah. like three point two or one or something like that. I'd have to double check on that. Um, but like like I was trying to say before and ended up losing track of what I was going to say. Uh, this gun is actually deceivingly light. Um, I didn't expect when I carried this that it was going to be, you know, like, you know, my shield or my, I thought it was going to be similar to the shield of the XDS, you know, because uh, the dimensions aren't really that much different. And um, when I, I carry it and I, I carry it in this, um, like, appendix holster here, um, it sits down in there and I, you know, you, you know, it's not like it disappears, you know, it's there, but it, it's really easy to carry. And we jokingly like, call it our dokester. <laughs> Family friendly channel, so we're not going to explain why. <laughs> Good shot. Yeah, so one thing that I'm definitely noticing is I, I keep doing this more and more often, and I'm not exactly take, super taking my time with these shots, but I'm doing it on purpose because I'm trying to get a feel for whether or not I'm, I feel like I'm going to be able to shoot this better than my G19. Um, the, the verdict is still out on that. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why it is, um, I shoot the G19 pretty good. Um, better than, you know, this... 1911, um, you know, which is unloaded, which, I mean, this thing has, like, a custom-tuned trigger, um, and there's just something about, like, the, the safe-action triggers on these Glocks that, that, uh, it just, it just works for me, um, but we're gonna finish off this next mag here, and then I'm gonna take a look at the target and kind of see what these hits are all about kind of look at the different like layers that I've, I've been shooting it, it from, from here it looked it looks like I started off kind of pretty much to the left there and yep. slowly started moving to the right so hopefully we can keep them all in again actually a little right and yeah, so that was kind of pulling the trigger to the right anyways guys pretty good still got a um, tabletop review coming to this um, been kind of slacking with all the schoolwork that I got going on but um, we'll definitely um, get the tabletop going on this I'll get you guys some better specs on it and um, we'll check it out some more anyways we're gonna go check out the target yep take it easy like when I when I was shooting when I was shooting all in here. I, I kind of, I, I wasn't aiming all the way over here. I was aiming just a little bit to the right and because of that slant. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. I think, I think with the new front sight on there, um, some more trigger breaking time, more rounds uh, down through the gun that I'll hit even better with it, you know. Guys, I, I know this has absolutely nothing to do with this Glock 43 video, but we've seen in a couple of comments on the channel here, um, people asking, you know, why, why, you know, does my dad wear uh, gloves when he does some of the reviews? And he's pointed out in a few comments, but we've gotten it a few times, so I figured we'd just, you know, put that to rest right now. Um, all stems from a uh, work-related accident years ago in his thumb, and... He, he doesn't want it to be like a distract it, it you know he he messed it up pretty good and he doesn't want it to be a distraction on video I told him who cares but 
He just feels like, you know, that, that should just be something. People should be focused on the gun and what he's saying instead of that. So that's kind of that's kind of the reason for that. So anyways, he's going to take some shots. And it hurts sometimes, and I put my glove on there sometimes because it feels a little bit better, especially when you start having the uh, explosions from the rounds ringing yeah. through your thumb. Not only that, a lot of the times when you're downstairs doing reviews or videos, whatever, you got your arms all wrapped up anyway, so... Yep with ace bandages and whatnot. But anyways, um, he's going to take some shots. He said he's going to aim for the uh, head on the target down there. And uh, this will be the first time that he's ever actually shot the gun. So give it a shot. See how it works with that crooked sight. <laughs> Oh, you're shooting at that left target over there. You're not shooting at the head. Yeah. It's, it, it, it sight's definitely. Yeah, that crooked. sight's definitely. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of. It's leaning like this. If you, anyway. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get. A, I'm gonna get a better shot on that. That's pretty funny. Let me zoom in. So, oh, if I can get the thing to focus here, we'll see if it's. It's it. leaning off the sides. So aiming, it's kind of strange. Oh, come on! Please focus on me. Come on. No, we're not working with a tripod right now, so you guys can't really see it. Let me see if we can. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's it's kind of hard to aim when it's, the sight's laying. It's leaning to the um, upper left. Yeah. So it's a little bit it, off it, there. People bash Glock sights a lot of the times, and... Um, they're, they are plastic, don't get me wrong. I think for the money that you spend, they should include some steel sights with it, seeing as how Smith & Wesson can do it uh, and make them adjustable for a lower price than a Glock. That is a valid criticism of the gun. However, I will tell you guys that this is the first time that I've ever once had a problem empty with, the, uh, with the sights. So, I mean, most people replace them anyways. Um, so, I don't know. Is, is valid criticism, but I've never had too much trouble. I, I wish that uh, it was easier to get those same stock options uh, for sight-wise, you know, on the gun from the gun shop. I know they, they offer, you know, Mepper lights and stuff like that, or uh, maybe it's church guns by default. Um, but I, I don't really see them as much, and I wish that they would do these same exact sights, you know, with a steel upgrade option or something. But anyways, um, I'll, I guess I'll finish off the last mag, one last mag for the, or no, maybe we'll have two here. I'll finish off the remainder of the bullets in this uh, little case here. Um, maybe try out, I think we have some, um, what do we got? We got these PMCs. Uh, these are all 115 grain. Mainly, I wanted to shoot the weaker ammo, and that's the reason why I brought it. I wanted to shoot the weaker ammo through it because um, people tend to say when there's problems with uh, a, new, a gun, especially a new one, that it always seems to happen with 115 grain. I didn't expect the gun to malfunction anyway, so kind of just trying to prove to myself that if this is going to function with 115, fine. It's probably going to be fine with any 124 or 147, so... Let's give it a shot. PPUs. I'll I'll finish off this last box because I hate having uh, uh, for the for the day. First one, I'm gonna go the little circles on the target. I'm gonna alternate left and right for each shot. Shot starting with the left, 
for the last mag that I fire, I'm going to do almost like a rapid fire drill um, with it just to see what it's like. So let's, uh, let's give it a shot. These are PPU. Some of those hit the guard book. <laughs> All right, um, last mag is going to be the wrapped fire drill, then we'll wrap it up. So the PPU seem to be feeding as well. Yeah, and they're problem. they're weaker. They're definitely weaker. I can feel it. Um, and and then that's that's kind of the way I've always felt about them. These are like the Walmart special ammo. Um, they're not they're not. These are hand loads here. These freedom munitions, but. Which, by the way, good ammo. Um, PPU is like a Walmart special. Uh, real clean cases on these, but they're they're weak. You can feel it. The other ones were uh, PMC bronze. Yeah. Um, this last rapid fire is going to be center mass, so we'll see. We'll yeah. see how close I can get. I've never tried this this gun. Good. Fed them no problem. Good success with this gun. Um, all right, guys, this is uh, all for now, but we got more coming with it. So this has been Blaze and Blaze, uh, big one, big Blaze with uh, Blazing Bullets. Uh, take it easy, be safe, and have fun. Peace. As, an, uh, as a little, you know, note, just always remember the first rule of gun safety is to always carry one. And we, uh, and we have this one, believe it or not. <laughs> This might be a nine, I think, but we pretty much have that gun. Anyways, I thought that that was kind of cool. I love this shirt. So take it easy, guys.